The winner of the 2011 South Australian Marie Claire Young Business Women's Award is Kelly Baker Jamison. Thanks, Anne. I have to say this is a pretty good day so far. Um, thank you to Marie Claire, um, to Telstra and all of the other sponsors here today. I have to admit, I packed most of what I had to say in my earlier speech because I thought if I'm lucky enough to make one today, that'd be great. Um, I am used to trying to maximise every opportunity I can um, and this strategy was working for me until now. So ministers, special guests, um, finalists, past and present, welcome again. September is actually a pretty special month for me. Um, last Friday I turned 34 and um, enjoyed the Edible Bloom staff policy of a day off, which was rather nice, so it started off pretty well. Um, just Wednesday this week, we actually relocated our Hyde Park premises, which hopefully many of you would have seen before, um, to new premises three times that size at 32 Richmond Road at Keswick. It's a significant milestone for me. I feel more akin in our new premise to my previous corporate career because I now have a window office again and I have a boardroom, um, things that I haven't had for many years. It feels quite grown up, actually. In fact, I'm getting quite practised at moving premises. Um, in the life of Edible Blooms over the last six years, um, every one of my stores has moved at least twice. Sydney and Adelaide have moved three times um, because it's the joys of growing a business, I guess. We keep running out of space. However, I do continue to make that dream bigger. Um, and I have every confidence this is not my last move, unfortunately. But I do hope we'll be staying put for a while. In the last 12 months, we've moved three of our premises. So um, Brisbane, Sydney and now Adelaide have all moved in the last 12 months. So if anybody else is moving office and you'd like a checklist, I have a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thrilling award for me to win the Marie Claire Young Telstra Businesswoman Award. Um, to be in the company of the other finalists here today was more than enough. But to be recognised for this award is truly amazing. Growing up as a country girl, as I said earlier, at a, uh, our farm near Balaclava with mum and dad and my sister Abby, I never imagined as a young girl that I'd travel the world on a working holiday at 21. I'd then live interstate in Queensland and Victoria and then complete a full circle and start a life of my own in country South Australia again with my husband Andrew. As a young woman in business, I actually see my gender as an advantage, not a disadvantage. And I know this is possible because of the many women, women that have blazed the path before me. In fact, we've got 17 years of those women that have been recognised through the Telstra Women's Awards. But too often as young people, we take a lot for granted in the world that we live in today. But I'm genuinely very thankful to those women. This week on the Today Show, I heard an interesting statistic that... Um, I think they have a Girls on the Grill segment, and I quite like listening to it. 62% um, of Australian boards have no female representation at all. And as a young woman in business with this award under my belt, I have a responsibility to be part of that change. I can't wait to share the news of this award with my team, many of whom who couldn't be here today that are in lots of different states and New Zealand. This is an award that recognises many brilliant women in edible blooms that support my business vision. And I'd like to finish by saying thank you to each and every one of them. And I'll spend a lot of time the next week thanking them all. Thank you so much.